A long flight from Brazil was a difficult journey. Thus, he's more determined than ever to not go back empty-handed. From Start Fight Center, I present to you, Daniel Tucanal Torres. Eu sou um caboclo sonhador, meu senhor viu, não queira mudar meu verso. Se é assim, não tem conversa, meu rapaz. Brazil's Daniel Torres came into KSW in 2018 and put on two incredible fight of the night winning performances. At KSW 44, he pipped the tough Filip Volansky to a decision, but then lost out narrowly to Roman Szymanski, who we saw perform earlier at KSW 46 in what was a title eliminator. The 25-year-old can dazzle with his wide variety of strikes, and he's become a bit of a fan favorite. Taking a short break from the sport, Torres returns with a TKO win over the Brazilian scene. But just last month, after that win, he's now looking to get the biggest win of his career here at KSW 51 in Zagreb, Croatia, as he faces off Filip Hedic. It's crazy to think that they both have a common opponent in Philippe Volansky. You can take some lessons from those fights too. I think that when you talk about Torres, one of the things he's going to want to do is push the pace, use the cardio to his advantage, and throw the hands. He just throws power shot after power shot. Call him Lyoto, some people do, because of his background in Shotokan Karate, but you don't really see it. I think that he's going to want to go out there and use some of the same ingredients, things he tried to do against Shimansky, but Shimansky was able to exploit him on the ground and just outwork him. Looks in good shape. It'll be a quick turnaround. I think he's coming off a win, which is a good thing. Has a lot of power, but doesn't rely on it too much. Usually more in favor of volume. But hey, Young Torres was tipped for title contention, Will. So, although he was unsuccessful in previous bids, a win over Pejic tonight could be a step in the right direction. So, known as Tucano, Brazilian Daniel Torres. In jego protivnik Cheviti. Previously, this fighter put on the afterburners and blasted his opening with a highlight kick. Tempered by iron, he is fast becoming a brightly burning star in this division. From American top team, I give you Philip Nitro From Croatia, Filip Pejic. He's the homeboy from Zagreb. He lives up very much to his nickname of Nitro and did so in his KSW debut earlier this year with an explosive KO victory over the tough Filip Volansky. Sharing, of course, as Chris mentioned, that opponent with Daniel Torres. This win introduced KSW fans to his capabilities and they have been asking for more ever since. One time UFC fighter is riding a fight fight undefeated run. Four wins, one draw. Payich has a real chance to affirm himself in the KSW featherweight division and could take a step closer to a pence potential title shot here at KSW 51 against Torres who was a contender and eliminator in the weight. Well, they both have flair, they both have style, they're both unpredictable. Payic, though, well, he really is a wild card, isn't he, Chris? It took him some time to figure out his opponent at KSW 48, but he showed great ring awareness and that kind of bouncy, light of the foot style to set up those kicks, the wheel kick, the high roundhouse kick, the ground and bound finish. Such a loose and supple striker, but I think a striker is going to favor kicking distance as opposed to Torres, who will favor punching distance. Watch out for him to get out there tonight. 
feeling the pressure of the crowd to put on some more spectacular moves. So, featherweight is the division. Under 65.8 kilograms, three five minute rounds. This is one of those fights that could well go the distance, but I've got a sneaky feeling someone's looking for a finish here early doors. Those are the numbers up on screen. 14, 2 and 2 for Page. 9 and 4. Those are the numbers for Torres. Schedule for three five-minute rounds. First round. Both guys are great strikers. I think the key for Torres is the hands, the cardio, and the pace, and the forward pressure. Payich needs to be patient, set up the kicks, do the dance. Both guys are really solid in the upright. I don't see this one going down to the ground, but hey, that could be an X factor too. So, uh, opening gambit there from Torres, a bit of an offside kick, and uh, Payich says, keep it high. Both fighters, very respectful, standing off. Torres has great footwork using that. Torres, the last time I saw him come out, he kind of needed a bit of time to wake up and smell the coffee. Didn't get rolling early doors, but he looks sharp on it now. And, uh, well, we know Payet, he lights up like a pinball when he starts to get going. This is one of the fights that I thought could be fight of the night, if not round of the night. Nice low kick below the knee. Beautiful, destabilizes him, then runs him with the right. Looking to cause a bit of a storm again here, Torres. Comes in heavy and hard, leaves his chin open though, and you only need to get kissed there once, and that's it, it's closed for you. The, the evening needs to have a care, but uh, Payet standing off, very respectful. Big clubbing right hand over the top there, catches Payet on the temple. And the kicks from Torres, very powerful. Payet not really finding an answer to this, and uh, Torres, well, oh, looking to land heavy hands. I believe Torres and the team realize they got to be in or way out. You saw him a moment ago just reset. The moment he could see that Payet was going to start to chamber and throw something, just back off, interrupt it, make him break stance, and then come right back in. That's kind of where the karate skills might be useful, Will. Yeah, the distance is very crucial to Torres' performance here. He really is keeping that distance, and uh, Payet having difficulty getting in enough to cause trouble, being kept on the outside, but Torres makes the ground very quickly, and there's the kick. Payet pays the price. Low kick allows the right hand to land, and Payet has got payload. And he's so light on that lead leg, but Torres has been able to kick it out twice. So there's a disadvantage to kind of bouncing around real light on the toes to set something up and have a guy just blast your base out like that. Yeah. Torres looks very comfortable, very relaxed. He's had some time out of the ring, but he's come back, had a win in Brazil. That was uh, decisive in his choice to come back to KSW here, but he makes a return as a favorite here. Pay at your crowd pleaser. But um, Torres now using the kicks to great advantage. And you're right, Chris, this might not go to the mat early. To be fair to Patch, it did take him a similar kind of blueprint last time to figure out Volansky to get the finish. He had a very hesitant first round. He really wasn't getting off like you would have expected. Oh, that's good. Good work from Torres. Torres Run into the fence. Comes in fast and hard. Comes in fast and hard behind those shots. Well, delivering payload here now, Torres. Left and the right, they're making a difference. Swinging wide to the midsection. There's that low kick again. It's almost an Ashiba Rai. And Payet being taken off balance. And uh, Torres complaining that there's been uh, an eye poke. Referee giving him full compensation, allowing him to continue. Torres says it's all right, but the eye is red. Both fighters acknowledge it. There it is. We see it's clear. Now Payet starting to bring some payload after disadvantaging Torres. 
slightly there with that finger poke. It was good sportsmanship as well. Panch knew that that had occurred. So both guys touched gloves. No ill will. So we're just over a minute left in this first round. We're seeing both fighters giving a lot of opportunity for potential. And uh, this time, Page now brings the kicks. Torres standing off, not really bringing anything to this. And this is what he tends to do. But there's the takedown. Goes for a grab, the midsection. Starts to ground and pound. Page now could be in trouble. Great work from Torres to try and steal this round convincingly here with that. I said it could have been an X-Factor, and it's a smart decision. This is MMA, not a glorified kickboxing bout. Interesting to me that Torres hasn't thrown as much volume as we've seen in previous contests. He's really picked his shots, and he's picked them very well. That being said, I have great faith that the first three minutes or four minutes of data that Patch has taken will pay off. If he can get to the bell, get back to his corner, we're going to see a different Patch in round two, which is what we saw in his previous fight. Torres looking to really take advantage of this, comes through now to put some ground and pound, but takes a straight shot through the middle. And they're back to the upright, and a big shot there from Torres, lands the right, comes in with the left, now this is a slugfest, and on the bell it gets very, very scrappy. But both fighters bringing it at the end of the first. Definitely a spicy finale. A taste of what's to come in the second course. So, very hard to call which way that will swing with the judges. We look at some very good stand-up skills from Torres. Doesn't land anything cleanly. But that shot, definitive. The low kick that brings out the lead leg of Payech. But Payech comes back with low kicks of his own and uh, hits the target. Chris, when it goes to the ground, Great takedown there from Torres, very opportunistic with about 40 seconds left to go. I've got Daniel Torres up in this fight right now. I think it was a good solid round from him, a, a good blue chip, worksmanship performance. Two of a scheduled three in this featherweight matchup. And uh, interesting because uh, Torres threw some wild shots to the midsection of Payage, and uh, Payage is. Uh, six-pack starting to show a bit of red glow there so that's obviously had an effect but uh, this is a pendulum fight it's swinging one way then another both of them have explosive capability who's going to take advantage and make the most of this the computer has been downloading information for the first round you can see it Pesh is loosening up here he's got an understanding of where Torres wants to be and how he wants to get in Watch for Payesh to try to counter. Torres doesn't want to wait around for that, though. Runs into the fence, into the tie-up. Payesh reverses. That's a deep stance we see from Torres, and it allows him to cover distance very quickly. It's a sport karate stance. He carries a boxing guard, but that deep stance gets tagged on the way out there by Payesh. And uh, Torres now, I don't know, at this stage, I'd like to see him a bit more aggressive and be the person that brings the action because Payage getting confident and more confident as this round goes on. You're definitely right there. It's bubbling, I think, now for Payage. Starting to simmer. Confidence growing. Some good high kicks there. Defended well from Torres, but uh, Torres needs to get a bit more creative. I'm not sure if Payach was looking to pick the ankle there or, or what, but... Payach not completely comfortable with uh, landing payload, but now he's gaining ground and Torres backing up. And um, you kind of see Torres' shots coming. They're a little bit circuitous. Lovely slip there from Torres, goes under, and that's a great takedown. Chips out the back leg, beautiful outside slip. Side control has flattened the legs here of Panch. Can he climb into mounts? Caught now in half. Good recovery for Panch. This is huge, though. Three minutes left, and he's got a lot of time to work with in the middle of the ring. Panch won't be able to use the fence to get back up. Torres should be able to flatten him out and work the pass. Set it up beautifully. Torres slipped that punch. He went under the big right hand, almost on one knee. Took the midsection, took his man out. 
But uh, Payet working very well from the ground here. But Torres still in controlling position, still being held in half, trying to pass. But up comes the legs of Payet. And that kick has hit Torres. And the referee steps in. Torres! Well, the referee steps in. Got to be honest, Will, I was looking down at my notes, and it seems to me he's going to be given a warning here for the grounded opponent. I'm going to have to take a look at it. We'll take a look at it, and we'll see exactly what happened. Well, referee calling a foul strike. Pedge, uh, you know, pleading innocence. But Torres was hurt by that. Whether he'll go back into this now with the same kind of verb that he had earlier, I don't know. But uh, the referee will have a talk with the corner afterwards. But Payet now knows he's got ground to make, and Torres knows that he can advantage himself there. That's the power and leverage that Torres has from that low centre of gravity. Down he goes, and it's a scramble here. Payet now, well, working off his back. Torres looking to advantage himself there from that upright position. Interesting here from Torres, who's going to the takedown with more frequency. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous reversal there from Page. Just tripped out the back foot, straight out of a sustain instructional. And Torres gets caught. Page reversing the momentum here, and that was an opportunity lost, I think, by Torres. Page, supremely confident was in serious jeopardy there for a while. We've got just over a minute left in this second round, and we thought this was a match that might just explode or go the distance. Looks like it's gonna be a long ride for these two. I'm perplexed that Page isn't going for the head kick more. I mean, clearly Torres will try to take him down off it, but if he can set it up, especially because Torres, his hands sometimes drift low, and he moves his head sometimes often in awkward places, lunging forward or to the side. Pech just hasn't been able to catch those dynamic kicks that we saw against Philippe Volansky. Coming up to the 10 second clapper and uh, almost negging each other out. Well, that could have been mentionable, but uh, it didn't land. Torres saw it coming, that spinning back elbow. 10 seconds to take us out of the round. Uh, as far as scoring goes, Chris, where do you have it? Well, I think that I've got Daniel Torres up on the first round. That was certainly a more competitive round. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Torres is walking away with this fight right now. But that was a much closer round. I'd have to watch that one again, to be frank, that last second one. But I think Torres is up. Well, there's a view of Mirko Krokop. Of course. A legend in his own lunchtime. This is a look at the action again. Outside trip there. Beautiful from Torres. There's the up kick. Let's take a look at it again, sorry. You know what? Yep. No, oh, no, let's take a look at it here. No, I think it was legal. Oh no, let's take a look at it again. It was his knee down, that's the question. Couldn't quite tell. It looked to me like that was actually a good call from the referee, actually, at second glance. Third and final round here at KSW 51 in this featherweight matchup. Filip Pejic of Croatia. Homeboy takes on the Brazilian Daniel Torres. We think that Torres might just be edging this, but as we go into the third and final round, anything could happen. That big left hand from Torres rocks back Payet, and he's still reeling from that. What a thumping shot there from Daniel Torres. The connection from Torres, he's rocked, but he knows that Payet is dangerous. Payet just looking, trying to find something here. Torres very relaxed coming into this third and final. He's got off a shot and he's uh, given Payet something to think about. If, as we think, Torres is slightly ahead, 
All the gymnastics we're seeing from Payage may not count unless he can land them. Interesting to see Torres starting to abort some of these entrances. He was going for a low kick, then backed off. Thought about throwing there and then went to the hand fighting. Payage has gained confidence and awareness as this fight has gone on, but to be honest, I think Torres is up. He needs a huge round here. Oh, Torres wants it to come on, and uh, Payage not responding, standing off. Torres getting a little bit frustrated, but uh, no one looking to commit themselves. Oh, and that was a reverse spinning back kick, and he landed that Torres so cleanly, and it seems as if Payage has recovered from that, but that was a showstopper. That was a strike that really should take a fighter down. Brilliantly executed by Torres. And straight out of the playbook of Payage. This has been such a measured and mature performance from Daniel Torres so far. He knows when to back off. He knows when to reset. He knows, despite the ego saying, you know what, jump on it, go for it, I've heard him. When to retreat. Well, Payage is still there. He's taken some very big shots this round. I think they have edged. Torres up. From a judging point of view, no one's rushed to go to the ground, have they? This has been stand-up all the way. But Torres, with just over two and a half minutes left in this round, needs really to be emphatic here. Payet has done a lot of spoiling. He's done a lot of uh, negging out of Torres's work. But uh, Torres now getting a little frustrated. That may not work for him. Good hand footing from Torres. Again, he's just backing off here, resetting. Gorgeous. Caught Payage just running in, hooked him. Popped him with the jab, then backs off. Hand fights again, rolls. Just exceptional awareness from Daniel Torres in this fight. The left hand of Torres really doing some great work here. But there's a single leg shoot. Payage tries to take his man down. Clubbing right hand there from Torres. And Torres uh, making a lot of protestation. Payage doesn't seem to understand what's going on. But uh, we work our way out of this round. And that left hand of Torres really here is the spear of destiny that is going to command the scoring in this bout. Good retreat again from Torres. He's playing with him, you know, physically, mentally, when you talk to him, when you shake your head. First time we see the wheel kick. Well, Torres is catching Payet as he comes in. And uh, it's on the counter that Torres is making it work. Comes in behind a big right, doesn't land it. There's a big left hand! And Payage now starting to feel the heat. But Payage comes back with a left hand of his own. Payage now very much in this towards the finish. We've got a minute left in this round. And Daniel Torres now on the receiving end of these shots. Does that slipsy drop of the knee to slip? And Torres, well, having to wake up here and keep his eye on the ball. Daniel Torres has just done a, a work of finesse here against an awkward, tricky, tough to train for opponent, but the game plan's been there, he's stuck to it. He shifted gears when he's needed to. Great performance, and great to see him come back like this against a guy who's a very, very talented fighter, Philippe Payet. Well, Torres bringing everything into the end here. We're on the 10 second clapper, but so is Payet. And a very strong finish from both fighters. It's gonna hard to be decisive about which way the pendulum will swing, but Torres finishes with the last strike, the last word. He turns and he smiles like an angel playing a cello, Daniel Torres. That smile that uh, really says everything about this bout. Torres was in control, managed it well. Nothing too decisive, but nothing too disruptive. How do you score it, Chris? I got Daniel Torres with the decision. Closer rounds from two and three onwards, but Torres gets the nod in my book. One of the first times Payet went for the head kick, but again, just Torres just catching him with intercepting shots. He was fading away. There's your baby, Will. That reverse spinning back heel kick 
And, uh, well, I've seen fighters drop from that when it hits the floating rib. But uh, Payet came back strong. Very good responses from Payet as the fight continued. Especially towards the end there, the third. They definitely knew they had to make it a very strong round in the third. He did come back harder and harder from the second onwards. But in my book, not enough. And a look of concern from Mirko Filipovic suggests the same. Dami gospodo, pobiednik je. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the unanimous decision. And the winner is Pukanau Daniel Torres. So the Brazilian has done enough. Tukanao Daniel Torres takes the win here.